As Europe faces an energy crisis, one small country has an ambitious plan to save the day. Denmark is developing energy islands, massive renewable energy hubs that could help the continent reduce its reliance on fossil fuels. An energy island is essentially an artificial island or a modified existing island equipped to collect and distribute renewable energy, primarily from wind turbines, to a larger network. These innovative islands could revolutionize how we generate and distribute energy, potentially making a major impact on the climate crisis. But can Denmark pull it off? We're about to answer that question in this video. You only have to do two things. Subscribe to this channel for follow up on this project and other massive projects underway, and turn on the notification bell so that you can always get notified when we post a new video. Now that you've done that, let's get to it. From mid-2021 to late 2022, Europe and parts of Asia faced an energy crisis marked by surging oil, gas, coal and power prices. This upheaval, triggered by Russia's invasion of Ukraine and subsequent sanctions, strained energy supplies already rebounding from the pandemic. While future shocks are inevitable, the disruption from the pandemic's end and Ukraine's invasion has subsided, with markets adapting. Europe's lingering challenge involves swapping relatively cheap Russian pipeline gas for costly LNG, posing a chronic threat to industrial competitiveness. In the oil market, US domestic production surpassed pre-pandemic levels in August 2023, and non-OPEC sources are steadily growing. Recent US data indicates comfortable crude inventories, alleviating concerns of supply shortages. By late 2022 and early 2023, concerns shifted from insufficient supplies to fears of overproduction and oil inventory accumulation. This is the reason why Denmark is proactively addressing this by constructing an energy island to ensure energy security. Denmark's rich history of harnessing sea winds for electricity production, dating back to the establishment of the world's first offshore wind farm in 1991, has inspired the construction of two energy islands. The Danish Energy Agency, drawing on domestic expertise and extensive experience, is now poised to take a historic and ambitious step toward phasing out fossil fuels, in line with the 2020 Climate Agreement. The plan involves creating an artificial island in the North Sea to act as a central hub for offshore wind farms initially providing 3 to 4 gigawatts of energy with the potential for long-term expansion to 10 gigawatts. Bornholm, situated in the Baltic Sea, will serve as the energy island, utilizing its electrotechnical facilities as a hub for offshore wind farms, supplying an initial 3 gigawatts of energy. Collaborating with industry leaders and leveraging top-tier expertise, their objective is to address unresolved project aspects, exchange knowledge, ensure solution quality, and diligently advance the green transition for a reliable electricity supply to Danish homes. Designed to facilitate the storage and conversion of renewable energy, the island will play a role in advancing eco-friendly alternatives across diverse sectors. Encompassing an initial capacity that spans 120,000 square meters, akin to 18 football pitches, the island is meticulously crafted for the seamless integration of facilities dedicated to storing energy and transforming it into fuel products. The design and construction of the energy island in the North Sea involve a strategic combination of on-island transmission and platform-based systems strategically placed around the island. This innovative approach not only accelerates the construction process, but also ensures adaptability and sustainability for years to come. Recognized as critical infrastructure, the Energy Island is set to be a collaborative effort, with the Danish state holding a majority ownership stake. To enhance the project's development, technology, finance, innovation and sustainability, the Danish state will forge partnerships with private entities possessing specialized competencies. This collaboration aims to create a resilient foundation that will withstand the test of time. The path to becoming the Danish state's private partner for the Energy Island involves a pre-qualification process slated for 2023. Private entities keen on participating need to prepare and form consortia to meet their upcoming tender deadline. The rationale for investing in the Energy Island is multifaceted, 
promising long-term benefits and opportunities. Preceding the upcoming tender process, the Danish Energy Agency has engaged in market dialogues with potential bidders and relevant industries. These dialogues, integral to the initial preparations for co-ownership, aim to optimize the procurement framework. The overarching goal is to elicit thorough and qualified bids, ensuring the most cost-effective solution for establishing the energy islands to benefit society. The energy islands development unfolds in two phases. In the first phase, the focus is on deploying offshore wind turbines to achieve a minimum of 3 gigawatts GW, of electricity production. These turbines are strategically positioned in areas with high wind speeds, typically over the open sea, where wind flows more consistently. The chosen location ensures optimal utilization of wind energy resources. The potential for scaling up to 12 gigawatts is dependent on advancements in technology that enhance the power output per square kilometre. The offshore wind turbines operate on a simple principle. As the wind blows, it causes the turbine's blades to rotate. This rotational movement activates a generator, converting mechanical energy into electricity. The generated electricity is then transmitted to the mainland through underwater cables, integrating the wind power into the existing electrical grid. Moving on to the second phase, the project aims to expand the offshore wind power capacity to a minimum of 10 gigawatts. This involves the deployment of additional turbines, further capitalizing on the abundant wind resources of the chosen location. The potential to reach 40 gigawatts hinges on advancements in power density, which refers to the amount of power generated per unit of space. Throughout both phases, the offshore wind farm contributes significantly to sustainable energy generation, mitigating the environmental impact associated with conventional power sources. The scalability of the project reflects a commitment to meeting growing energy demands while embracing technological advancements that optimize the efficiency of wind power conversion. As the project expands to its full 10 gigawatt potential, the island's footprint will expand to an impressive 460,000 square meters, equivalent to approximately 64 football pitches. This expansive scale only goes far to prove the ambitious commitment to harnessing substantial energy output. The surrounding wind farm envisions an initial deployment of up to 200 towering wind turbines, each soaring over 260 meters. This wind farm's potential augmentation to 650 turbines at full capacity highlights the scale of ambition in generating clean, renewable energy for widespread application in shipping, aviation, industry, and heavy-duty vehicles. Utilizing cutting-edge power-to-X technology is another part of this project that is truly fascinating. This advanced technology plays a great role in ensuring a stable wind power supply. Imagine a scenario where there's abundant wind but a lower electricity demand. The surplus energy can now be harnessed and transformed into hydrogen and eco-friendly fuels. These fuels become a valuable resource for powering aircraft, ships and heavy industry, making a significant leap towards sustainability. Now, turning our focus to Bornholm, situated in the Baltic Sea, the island has a special space in Denmark's renewable energy portfolio. The parliamentary decision to construct a dedicated energy island here proves the nation's commitment to decentralizing its energy production and ensuring widespread adoption of sustainable practices. While the island's counterpart off Jutland boasts impressive proportions, Bornholm's energy island promises to be a significant player in the nation's green transformation. As it stands, this island is projected to contribute substantially to the country's energy landscape, producing an impressive 45 terawatt hours annually when fully developed. The implications are vast, not only in terms of domestic energy security, but also as a beacon of inspiration for other nations keen on embracing similar sustainable energy solutions. As part of the tendering process for the energy island in the North Sea, comprehensive preliminary investigations and environmental assessments are underway. These studies encompass geotechnical, geophysical and biological surveys, along with the collection of Matosian data led by the Danish TSO, Energinet. These efforts showcase the commitment to responsible and informed development, ensuring the energy island's integration with its natural surroundings. 
The energy islands signify the dawn of a new era in offshore wind energy generation, geared towards establishing a sustainable power source for both Danish and international electricity grids. Operating as offshore green power plants, these islands are poised to play a pivotal role in phasing out fossil fuel energy in Denmark and Europe, but here's the challenge. The initial plan was to initiate the tender process before the summer holidays. However, the Danish Energy Agency's revised cost estimate now exceeds 50 billion Danish krona, $7.35 billion, raising concerns about the project's profitability by its targeted completion in 2033. This financial setback has compelled the government to postpone the tender by a few months to reassess and strategize on cost reduction measures. The urgency to make the project economically viable has become more apparent as the Danish Energy Agency acknowledges the necessity for a thorough investigation into ways to mitigate costs, thereby ensuring that the energy island aligns with the conditions set by political agreements. The postponement coincides with the news that a consortium led by Copenhagen Infrastructure Partners CIP, and Allianz has applied to build two energy islands in the German North Sea by 2032. This group emphasizes the cost-effectiveness of their proposal, estimating each island's cost at up to 2.5 billion euro, 2.74 billion dollars. Interestingly, CIP has expressed its intention to participate in the bidding process for the Danish energy island, creating a dynamic where competition and collaboration intersect. Despite the slight delay, the current project trajectory aligns with its timeline. Key milestones include an ongoing feasibility study which is still taking place and initial production targeted for 2025. The ambitious plan extends to constructing the island by 2028, establishing the power grid by 2031 and initiating the first 3 gigawatt phase of wind farms by 2033. Anticipated further expansion foresees an additional 7 gigawatts of wind farms by 2040. Partners Orsted and ATP from North Sea Energy Island express optimism that power to hydrogen plants will precede the island's completion. Concurrently, investigations explore the economic viability of hydrogen production directly on the island or within the turbines, with transportation through pipelines to the shore. Evaluating the potential use of platforms becomes crucial in terms of technical feasibility, cost effectiveness, risk management and sustainability. It's essential to note the ongoing progress of Bornholm, steadfastly advancing towards generating 3 gigawatts of offshore wind power for Germany and the Netherlands by the early 2030s. Beyond the approved governmental plans for Bornholm Energy Island, exciting prospects include ammonia bunkering for ships, as well as the development of power to fuel and biogas production facilities. Share your thoughts on these groundbreaking initiatives and stay updated by subscribing to our channel for the latest updates in sustainable energy. Your insights matter. Let's build a greener future together. Thank you.